Hey everybody, it's Chuck. Well, I have some footage I want to go over with you today. I was able to get some footage of the ADES driver doing my unprotected left-hand turn today. Today is October 5th, and uh, this driver or drivers have been here for pretty much this week. Um, and I think the situation is they're back here testing something. Um, I have not seen them driving consistently since back in the spring when they were definitely testing um, FSD beta version 10.69. And if y'all recall, that was where 10.69 uh, came out where they sort of, you know, quote unquote, really worked hard, solved my unprotected left-hand turn here in Jacksonville, Florida. It's a very difficult turn for those of you that are not familiar with it. It's a three-lane divided highway with a median. Uh, the speed limit is around 50 um, miles an hour and the cars can go much faster than that. Uh, which makes the the gap selection the most difficult part for crossing this road and positioning yourself in the median to continue on the second part. But what I want to show you here today is take a look at this. It's a black uh, Tesla with Texas plates. And the Texas plates uh, do not show up here in uh, Jacksonville very often. They're manufacturer plates. And you can see here uh, we have the ADS driver using the stop line and then uh, continuing up to the creep and waiting on the cars and proceeding. And there we go, that was the first one. This driver does 12 runs on this uh, video. And uh, you can see this is the only one that I remember uh, him stopping into the median. So the, most of the other ones worked out to where it was able to continue all the way through. But if you see here, using the brake lights, I'm waiting for the gap on the right and then proceeding. Uh, I've got this clipped up to where we're just gonna see each run. Um, and I think it's worth talking about. They're probably driving V12. But for the purposes of debate, let's just watch what it's doing. Look, a perfect stop at the stop line there. Um, and then a creep. This is exactly how FSD beta behaves uh, right now on version 11.4.7.2. And you see that, that creep there with the brake lights on? Um, I don't know if the ADAS driver is driving manually. I'm guessing the answer is no because of the perfect way it's using the stop line and then the creep and then choosing the gap and then proceeding. Um, you see how it's not, it's not budging though here. Um, and right now on version 11.4.7, it creeps and kind of edges out in between each of these cars with a large gap before it commits. And if you watch those hubcaps there um, on those wheels, you notice it's not budging right now. And there's a very large gap that it's waiting on. Not sure why it didn't go for that gap. Might be waiting on traffic from the right. Um, and then you can see it proceeding. You do notice the blinker is on there. You got a, a good glimpse of the, the blinker before it crossed and then proceeded uh, through the median there. Uh, so I did see blinker usage. I did see brake usage, of course, and then the consistent. Now you see how he rolled right through that stop line? I, that, that's interesting. Um, it went straight to the creep. Um, so maybe this is the manual driver on this one. I, I don't know. Um, and as I watch this over and over and over, I'm not sure if there's any disengagements or not. Maybe this is kind of better for open debate for us to watch and look at and see if we see any nuance in this video that perhaps you can recognize um, were disengagements. But right there, it's almost in the exact same spot as the previous creep with those wheels right there on that uh, pedestrian crosswalk side. Um, but they're not, it's not inching up forward at all. It's just sitting there waiting. And you'll see here in a second as the gap opens up and then it will proceed right across. I don't have this scripted, so I'm just kind of watching the video with you as I, as I watch it through. Good long wait here. This is good, and there's the brake lights off. You see the creep, that was a creep. That was an FSD beta creep, and then it proceed. It's not doing the right turn, and there's, see the blinker, and it's going to the left turn lane every single time in this video. Um, so it's not doing the kind of go to the right position uh, at all. There's a, a full stop at the stop line though this time and then a creep. So this feels like it's definitely FSD beta driving again just by that behavior. Little tap, and you see there, it, it went all the way out to get visibility, left turn and left turn lane. So it's not going to the middle lane at all. I didn't see a single one going to the middle lane. And right now FSD beta version 4.7.2 and pretty much the last several versions have all been going to the middle lane. This one I included a little bit extra with that truck there. See how the truck is in the median? So now it's got an obstruction it has to deal with. It has to give the right away. So there was the stop line, here's the creep. But now, you know, if I were in that car, you'd probably see that truck being labeled as blue. Slow creep. See how it's continuing to creep out there to get visibility. 
That is FSD beta trying to get visibility around that fence. That's that behavior. It gets right there. Now watch how I believe right after this truck, it proceeds before the truck is clear. See that? Doesn't go to the right, all the way around, left blinker, left turn lane. Another really good one. Uh, so now I have a real good surprise for you. When I found out the driver was driving, I got the drone up. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so now I got two perspectives. You got the top view, and you see how it went past the stop line there again. Blip brakes are uh, tapping as it's creeping all the way out to get visibility. Lots of traffic here, and it's not quite as comfortable going all the way out to that line as quickly. And you see, it still is not quite as far as it was on the previous, uh, and there's the gap, a pretty small gap there. That wasn't a tiny gap, and it proceeded straight through left turn lane. So that was a really good unprotected left turn. Don't know if there was any disengagements. I, you know, please give me some comments uh, in, in the uh, sections below what you guys think about this. Perfect stop line stop right there with a creep. It's gonna need to wait here. Tapping the brakes. It's probably gonna ooch forward a little bit more. And there's its gap and it's just going for it with a nice smooth all the way through the median. From the top down view, you can definitely tell that it's not doing the right arc to get into the median. Uh, so that definitely makes me think this is something different, something new. I gave you a little bit of extra footage on this one too. I gave you a, a car that was already at the intersection with another truck, just so you can kind of see how this intersection works and how that car uh, basically was waiting. Now this car um, that is right ahead of the Tesla as the Tesla is going to approach, is pretty conservative here. Uh, I, I, as a human driver driving that car, would have gone several times uh, before this car ends up going. But I think it's a good example to watch how humans do this uh, drive of all different types. Like, like I'd have gone much sooner there and that car went slowly through that intersection. Look at the arc it makes too and into the left turn lane. Perfect. Now the Tesla is creeping up. It's gonna get its visibility. Pretty much all the way out there. It's not quite as far as it was on some of them. And now it's looking for its moment. See that creep, creep, and then go. Same exact arc that the human driver made. Only I don't know if the human's driving now or not. We're just talking about the video, assuming this is V12 that they're testing. Here comes the next clip. Definite stop and a creep. No opposing cars. So it never really stops here. See that? And then there it stops right on the line. Interesting. I think it's waiting perhaps from the right on this one because there's no opposing cars from the left. So this is this is perhaps something else to notice here. Uh, there was no reason for it to not go into the median and version 11 would have gone into the median in that situation and waited on cars from the right. But that time it was waiting on those cars from the right for sure. Stop line. All the way out to the creep. It's going to need to wait here a little bit. See how far it wants to go out. That's pretty much its spot right there. Yeah. Lots of traffic here and it's not budging. That's really great. Right now on 11.4, the, the uncomfortable parts are when it creeps when there's a lot of oncoming cars coming. Definitely was a gap. It could have gone to the median there, but maybe it was again waiting for traffic from the right. Rolled, rolled before that car even passed, didn't it? Sure did. All the way through left turn lane consistently uh, on this build. All right, we've got a couple more here to show you. I definitely think this is FSD being uh, driven. You know, they do have this turn programmed in the simulator. Uh, look how far it went out to creep there. A little bit further than any of the previous ones. With no traffic, it went a little bit further that time and one smooth all the way into the left turn lane. Yeah, you know, this could be uh, a ground truth verification against the simulator. Um, I talked to the engineers in Palo Alto that have programmed this into the simulator. So I, I assume that's why they keep coming out here and testing it with actual ADAS drivers and, and cars with the builds of the software. Let's see where it creeps on this one. Very consistent spot right there, pretty close to that white line. A nice pre-roll all the way out. It really looks like it's doing a good job. So that's what I've got for you today. I don't know, what do you think? I think this is probably V12 being tested. Um, it's really exciting. I think that um, 
I, I didn't get to talk to the driver. I, I was really just trying to let them do their job, and, and I wanted to get some good footage, too, before I scared them away in case they didn't want to talk. Uh, I had a jar of honey in my hand, um, but next time, you know, if the driver that did this sees it, you know, maybe I'll get to see you next time. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, exciting stuff. They're out here testing the unprotected left-hand turn against something that uh, they're working on. Have a great day.